the contestant for the president post of our country and uh, it's a constitutional post and if a person aspiring to become the president of India holds this view that uh, minorities which includes Muslims and Christians are alien to this nation then what kind of confidence is this candidate or his party is creating in the constitution also what kind of message is being sent uh, to the Muslims and Christians. So this in itself clearly shows that what we have been saying that BJP wants to convert this great nation of ours into Hindu Rashtra. And that is why I had uh, used his quotation uh, which he had made which is on record. Sir, immediately BJP hit out at you saying Oasis is doing what he has always been doing, uh, no, no, communal no, politics. No, no, they can. Why is he bringing religion into it is what they No, no, I, BJP should say first whether the report wherein Mr. Coven had said this or not. Didn't he say that Muslims and Christians are alien to this nation? What right has anyone got? to call Muslims and Christians who are first citizens of this country as alien to this nation. Because when a person says this, he is repeating the ideology of Savarkar, Golwalkar and RSS. So this is nothing new but has, 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 it, has he said this or not? That is what the BJP should say. Sir, you also spoke about the DYSP who was lynched in Kashmir and the situation in Kashmir. Could you elaborate a little more? I have condemned the lynching of DYSP, Mr. Ayub, and that too on a holy night, and that too near the Jama Masjid of Srinagar. Who are these people? I know, people who have lynched Ayub and people who are lynching Muslims in the name of Gauraksha, I, I find them no difference. These group of people cannot be called as human beings because you are taking a life of a human being and you have no right whatsoever. So people who are lynching in the name of cow and people who have lynched the DYSP in Srinagar, they have no difference whatsoever. They, have, they need to be condemned. And the most important point is that the, the party in power in JNK is BJP and PDP. It clearly shows their misgovernance, their, uh, they are clueless on what's happening on ground. They have no vision. All tall promises were made, all assurances were made that nothing has happened. That is also a point which the whole nation must look into. So on rumors of eating beef, one man was lynched inside a train and three others were beaten and stabbed. It is, it is very unfortunate that a young 17-year-old who had just memorized his Quran, in which we call he, he, he was a, who was a half as a Quran, and who was returning back to his village after buying new clothes to wear on the occasion of Eid and also on the occasion of com, on the completion of memorizing the Quran. This clearly shows that the hate atmosphere which is being created, which I call Islamophobia. And I would earnestly request people who are spreading this Islamophobia that they are also responsible for all these incidents, which is, which is culminating in, in lynching and murder of, of Muslims, uh, either in the name of cow or in the name of the religion or in the name of their beard. And what we have seen is that a young boy has lost his life. So the Union Minister Hindi, Hindi. says that Hindi is a Bhasha hai, and he says Hindi ke bina aage badna bahut mushkil hai. What do you have to say about this? Well, Telangana, Andhra, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, uh, Goa, uh, you know, there are many states who have progressed, wherein we have regional languages, whether it's West Bengal, Odisha. And please remember that this is again a reiteration of the ideology of RSS. Hindu, Hindutva, that is, and Hindi, that is what they are trying to promote. And where, is, where in the constitution such thing is written? The Honorable Minister could have said that for my progress in BJP, I have to know Hindi. That would have been the apt reply. 
and then I'm also waiting for the vice president candidate to announce because we'll hear more such statements. Sir, who will you support? Sir, one last question. Uh, they asked Biden call. to speak call. about the uh, opposition's candidate and what? why only NDA's candidate, presidential what? candidate. No, no, that I'll say later. Okay.